Joyce Jilson, our good pal, recently covered a, a celebrity fashion show, and here she is. Bill, if you've heard the old adage, if you want something done, ask a busy person. Well, that's apparently what the people at the Cedar sinai Medical Center did when they established this fashion show today. So many performers turned out in honor of the Amy Karen Cancer Fund, which benefits needy children with cancer. But we got a special treat. We got to go backstage. And in between the racks of furs and behind the dressing screens, the celebrity models took a few moments out to let their hair down. Or should I say, put it up. <laughs> Lydia, do you spend a lot of time Time and energy on picking your professional wardrobe? Mm, well, okay, for the Dick Clark special and Rockin' New Year's Eve, I spent so many hours in one boutique trying to find a sequin gown. And then I decided on a mini and I had the whole thing designed and it was a complete haphazard put together thing. It's last moment, Aileen Warren came up with a wonderful dress, kind of a v-neck big poofy sleeve sequin thing. Yeah. I heard that there's a chance that Two Clubs for Comfort might be back. Tell me. I wish the people who like the show would, would protest or something to ABC, but I think whoever knows the reasons it was canceled were political and the show was different this year, I think. But there's a chance we're going to come back. Yeah, I've heard. Oh, I keep fingers crossed. Fran Dresser and Donna Dixon from Dr. Detroit were looking over the furs for the show. Now, is this what you're going to wear for the show, Donna? Or? I am. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, Wouldn't dear. you like to take this home with you? Well, are you going to take it home, or...? Uh, well, it's only yes. $20,000, and, um, I can't see why not. How about you? <laughs> and what is that? This is me. This is gorgeous, Isn't this different? It's very original. And <clears throat> they put the black in here, and I'm going to sort of walk like this. <laughs> and then I'm going to do one of these type things. And very Germanic. Carlin asked me really to work this, and I said, honey, no problem. No now, you were yeah. both in Dr. Detroit, both worked together and still friends. Uh, is this the type yeah. of thing that you would have worn? Or? friends. Well, yes, except that, uh, yeah, it really is. I mean, it looks sort of like... really doesn't supply this type of budget, though. No, but we could. And, <laughs> yeah. in, the movie, we but play two, very... in the movie, we played two of the highest class call girls in Chicago. And uh, I think this would fit in quite perfectly. Deborah Burrell wore her $20,000 dream girl gown. How much wear and tear do these dresses get for wearing them eight performances a week? Okay, this one probably doesn't get much because they don't even allow us to sit in it. Really? You know, no. <laughs> if, and they tell us if we see any strings, do not pull it because they're all sewn together. If we pull one string, a whole line of beads will come off. But you have to sing and, you know, move in it. To, has, has it ever been replaced? The movement is just like this. <laughs> and you're not allowed to do anything else? Well, we have a little few arm movements and things like that, but it's not. This one gets about the least wear and tear. I don't Thank you wear. very much, Debbie. But can I mention I'm wearing, this is the second time oh. I'm wearing. Let's Swampers see, let's see. Full length let's white see. fox coat. Mm. Now, this is the second time I'm wearing this. What was the first, or can we not ask? First was another benefit. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can mention it, the waif benefit. Sure. Okay. And this is the second time. I love this so much that I'm wearing it the second time. Hopefully, if I wear it a third time, Harlan will let me have it. <laughs> he ought to. <laughs> Harlan of Sopper's Purse. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Dynasty's Pamela Bellwood confirmed she's coming back next season. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Are you still going to be sick, or...? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I mean, part of the reason I really wanted to come back was because I thought that there are a lot of people that watch the show that have mental illness or have had it and gone on to recover. And I, to recover, and I really think it's important to show that you know Claudia can go back and lead a productive life after mm -hmm. everything that's happened to her. That's a very nice uh, th caring about your character. Huh? Well, I think you you have to. I think you you know the audience gives you a lot for that show. There's so much support and caring, and I think you know when you play someone, parts of it obviously come from you. They spring from a well that's your own creativity and your own instincts. And so I do care about her, and I also care about the reaction that people have had, because I've gotten a lot of letters about, you know, hoping that she'll recover and get better. Now, you were in one of the most dazzling spreads in Playboy. In fact, I even bought it because you were so gorgeous in it. Now you're playing a nun. Are people less concerned? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I, in fact, I mean, it, well, it's the logic of show business, you know, <laughs> from doing a Playboy spread in Africa, of course, you know, you get cast as a nun. And I'm just, I just finished that in Mexico, and now I'm, I'm starting tomorrow in Agatha Christie, 
mystery. So I mean, it's, I really have switched and changed this year a lot, a lot of different parts. We caught Barbara Eden moments before she hit the runway. Hi, Barbara, you look great. Well, thank you. Can I? <laughs> Everyone was so surprised you came out. <laughs> I was surprised I came out, too. <laughs> Can you tell me who the designer is of this beautiful dress? Yes, it's uh, G-U-N-N-E Sachs, Gun Gunny Sachs. Is it? I've yes. heard of it. And it's a woman who uh, lives in San Francisco, uh, the designer, uh, Jessica, what? McClintock, yeah. Jessica McClintock. What, is this the type of thing you wear in your private life, or what do you normally wear? No, but it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it very much. Will very, you get it as a gift? Very feminine and very, no. No, I don't think oh. so. <laughs> Everything's for charity. What a I went back up to the dressing room to do some research. All the clothes and furs, I'm really getting into the fashion spirit. What do you think, Bill? Too busy? Uh... <laughs> I want to see the girl with the white coat walk down that thing again is what I want to see. And we're going to be talking about one of Hollywood's most popular nightclubs when we come back. And how come Joyce gets to go do that stuff? I get sent to a golf tournament where nobody shows up. That's what I want to know. Don't go away. <laughs> 